What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Torian Rain Reloaded channel. If you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and have your notifications set to all. And also be sure to have your notifications set to all on your mobile devices, whether iPhone or Android, so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video or go live. Also be sure to like, comment, and share this content on your very social media platforms. So, with this story, we are going to be going to a place called Harvey, Louisiana, or at least this is where this is being reported out of. And, and however, the person we're talking about is from Kentucky. I'm not sure of the connection as of yet, but well, I'm sure it'll be a little breakdown. But in this picture, you see this dweeby looking individual, and he looks very dorkish. His name is Brian Adams. He's 22 years old from a place called Paintsville, Kentucky. Yeah, we are back in Kentucky. We just left Kentucky with Lance Stores, and now we're back in Kentucky with Brian Adams. Well, this guy has been charged with making threats toward his fifth grade class. Yes, you have a 22-year-old who was making threats to a bunch of 9- and 10-year-olds. I think that is the age for fifth grade, either 9 to 10 or 10 and 11. I can't remember, but I know 10, year old, 10 is one of those ages. And one of those threats or some of those threats were racially motivated. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead now and get into this article coming from WDSU. And it was posted July 5th, 2022. A man from Kentucky has been charged with communications of interstate threats after he allegedly used threats to kidnap or injure a fifth grade class from a Jefferson Parish School Laureate Academy Charter School. The Department of Justice has announced the arrest of Brian Adams, age 22, of Paintsville, Kentucky, after he allegedly used racially motivated threats to kidnap or injure the students back in October 2020. In October 2020, the school was conducting classes virtually via Zoom due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Adams allegedly attended the online class and verbally threatened the students and the teachers. So he wasn't so he did. So he was not a teacher. He wasn't a teacher. He just found a way to get into the Zoom call that the teacher was having with their students. And then that's when he made the threats. And that was and I'm sure that was a scary thing back. I say back then, like it was so long ago, two years ago, because with technology, you know, and people who know how to hack things, which it looks like he probably does know how to do. It was very easy for them to get into those kinds of things. So he most likely found a way to hack it or get in there because I'm almost certain that there's some kind of code or a password that is given to the parents for the students to for their children to log in and have the class with the teacher or maybe the teacher gave it to them. Or I don't know how they actually did it. I'm sure someone out there who has a child that had to do virtual learning can explain better what how they had to do that. So this guy's all the way in Kentucky. The school is in Louisiana and he just found a way or he found a classroom to go into. And then that's when he started to do what he did. I'm more mad that they're just now charging him with something. And this happened almost two years ago. Any like. Why not have gone after him then? Like we are trying to build a case. There wasn't really nothing to build. You had the proof right there. According to officials, Adams allegedly chose the school in Harvey because of the actual and perceived race of the students and teachers. So it was intentional. He didn't just stumble upon this class and decided to go in. He legit he legit searched for the school or the class because it had a majority let's just say black populace in it or you can say or non-white however you want to put it but we're going to just say black and that's who he decided to go after so it was intentional if convicted adam faces a maximum sentence of five years a fine of up to $250,000, up to one year of supervised release, and a $100 mandatory special assessment fee. Well, hopefully he does get convicted, even though I would personally give him more than five years, because let's just hypothetically say he got found guilty and they threw him in jail today. He'll be out when he's 27. The only thing that's going to really hurt his pockets is that fine, of that, that fine of up to $250,000, 10% of $25,000, which for him might still be a lot. I don't know 
what it is that he does outside of this. I think I saw somebody post that he had, I don't know if he had a YouTube channel or what else did he do, but clearly we know one thing that he is, and that's a dub S. There's no questioning that. This guy literally logged in, probably pretending to be a student just so he could throw racial epithets towards the teacher and the students who did absolutely nothing to him. They didn't know him from a can of paint and he looks like a creep. As far as I know, this looks like a current picture of him or at least it's the picture that is floating around because I can't find any other picture of him, but he looks like a straight up creep. He looks like someone that should be on the registry. Y'all know what registry I'm talking about. But yeah, it's just some weirdos out there. It's some it's some straight up creepy ass weirdos out there from all walks of life. And he definitely is one of them. One of many. One of several. Like imagine all the time you had to have on your hands to go and do something like this to a group of people, especially some kids that did absolutely nothing to you. And you just felt compelled to go ahead and do that. And I bet you he's going to be one of the people that says, I'm not racist because I have a black friend or I'm not racist because I slept with or maybe my girlfriend is black. You know, they, they like to use that little indictment to get themselves out of a jam. But it ain't going to work, though. And something tells me from I never heard of this place called Paintsville, but it just sounds real hickish to me. You know what else is in Kentucky? Owsley County, one of the poorest, if not the poorest county in America. They don't talk about that enough, and we know why. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments.